styles of pleats. Knife pleating, box pleating, he hasn't mentioned it, but canusi and reverse canusi, that kind of thing. Um, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Is one style more traditional than another, or is one, you know, what are the pros and cons of the different pleating styles for a kilt? Sure. Um, the different pleating styles for a kilt, whether it's box pleats, canusi, <clears throat> knife pleating, they're all just basically how the fabric is folded as you're, the pleats are put in the same way. You're sewing in the pleat on the insides, and then how the fabric is folded behind that is what actually makes a knife pleat or a canusi pleat okay. or a box pleat. The, they're, they're all historical. They all have, you know, historical relevance. Um, one of the oldest kilts I think the Scottish Tartans Museum has is a silk box pleated kilt like it's some huh. weirdo wonderful stuff huh. um or i've seen pictures of it at least okay. and if they don't have it someone does um so there's all all these different styles have you know some place in history now as the kilt has kind of evolved with time some of the different pleating styles have kind of gone in and gone out of favor um and for the most part i will say uh uh, knife pleating is probably the easiest. It's the easiest to iron because you're ironing just one side of the pleat. You don't right, have to right. worry about ironing both sides, so you're doubling your work. Right. If you're ironing a box pleated kilt or a military box or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, so knife pleating is kind of, for the most part, how things have become standardized. Um, there are still a few companies that do box pleated kilts. Generally, those are um, less yardage and the pleats tend to be a little bit wider. Um, so box pleated kilts tend to be about four yards of, uh, four yards of fabric and the pleats are generally about two inches wide. Um, hmm. can you see pleating is, uh, pleating where the, the pleats in the center of the back has kind of like a tail looking the center box pleat in the center of the back. And then the knife pleats fan out towards the front apron. Um, if anyone's okay. familiar with Utila kilts brand, utility kilts, they have reverse kinyosi pleating where the pleats fan towards the center of the back and the box pleat is actually inside, so the pleats meet mm. in the center of the back. Okay. Um, and then knife pleating is where it's just a fold and it looks, you know, like a knife. There's one single edge to the pleat all going the same direction. Generally, um, if you're looking down at yourself going counterclockwise from the, from the left side back around to the right is the direction of knife pleating. Okay. Is there, would you want a box pleat kilt if you wanted a lightweight kilt? Uh, sure. Because, because of the less fabric? Yeah, it's, the the opinions of box pleated kilts are kind of mixed. Mm. Um, I've I've heard it said before, box pleated kilts remind people of like cheerleader skirts mm. um, and that okay. kind of thing. So some people like box pleated kilts less. Um, they are, the advantage to a box pleated kilt is they're a little bit more balanced, if you will, mm -hmm. because you have effectively two yards of fabric in the front and two yards in the back in a four yard kilt. Okay. So weight wise, it's a little bit more balanced if you want to get real micro about it. Huh. Um, the, uh, but it's, it really depends on if you like the look, the pleats are okay. wider and it's, it's different than a traditional eight yard kilt and knife pleated kilt. Okay. So it takes a little bit of getting used to visually. But it mostly comes down to an aesthetic difference and there's no practical yeah. advantage um, or disadvantage to, from a wearer's perspective. Yeah, from a wearer's perspective, there's, there's not really much of an advantage one way or the other. Okay. Um, yeah, 